Yeah, start it off right, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, mom. Sorry, not sorry. But on camera, when I die. Of course. How are you? Good. <laughs> uh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brad Genius. And today, I'm going to be talking about the day that I got my first dirt bike. Now, to be honest with you, this was one of the happiest days of my life. Because I had wanted a bike since I was like three, four years old. For as long as I can remember, I wanted a dirt bike or a motorcycle or something like that. And uh, growing up, it was not something that was in my family's budget, you know. I grew up in a house that taught me, you know, you want something, you gotta go out and get it. And at the time, I couldn't really afford it. So I had to wait until I was older. I think I was 19 uh, when I got my first dirt bike. But anyway, let me give you a little bit of a backstory as well. Um, I did look at another bike before I got this one. <laughs> and my buddy who, uh, who had a dirt, who's been in the dirt bikes longer than I was at the time, he was gonna help me find one. Now, getting it home was a different story because neither of us had a truck. So we were gonna put it in the back of this kid's Jeep Wrangler. Basically, uh, a 1981 CJ7. I'll throw up a picture of that real quick for you guys. Yeah, so it was definitely not the, uh, definitely not the best. It was definitely not the best setup to say the least, but um, I figured, you know, let's go check it out. So we go to look at this first bike, right? Now the guy had it listed for about 1800 And mind you, the bike was worth maybe, the bike was worth maybe, I don't know, probably like 15. So, you know, his wife, in the description, he also said his wife said it needs to be gone. So that normally means you're good because when you show up the wife's gonna be like I don't care the wife's just basically gonna say they want it out which means you can usually get a pretty good deal on the price <laughs> um, this was not the case here we pulled up checked out the bike and don't get me wrong like it was a nice bike uh, it was an 03 YZ125 but the dude just wanted way too much for it it was not worth what he was asking So I offered him 1400 he wasn't having that, I offered him 1500 he wasn't budging, he's like nope, I want 1800 for it, we're like well you're not going to get that dude, like I'll give you everything I have in my pocket, I think I had like 1580 or something like that, which is more than the bike was worth, but I really wanted it, and I wanted a bike forever so I was like screw it, uh, and he didn't take it so we left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're having fun, man. Great to see other people out riding today, too. <laughs> but, so, unfortunately, my first attempt didn't go so well. Now, the day I went to go look at my bike, my buddy and I were like, alright, we're gonna make this happen. Went on Craigslist, Message a guy. This is back before we had Facebook Marketplace. And, uh, you know, this guy was more chill. He said he had somebody else coming later in the day. But if we got there first, it was ours for 1400 He was going to give us 100 bucks off what he had it listed for. So, we had another friend who had a, who had a truck. Um, so, we're like, why don't we be smart this time? Not load it up in the back of a Jeep and uh, bring our buddy's truck. So this time I go there, I show up to the place, right? Go knock, go to knock on the door. The address this guy gave me it says there's an eviction notice. And I'm like, what? Uh, but I guess, you know, obviously you don't want to give away your address. So, uh, you know, he was just trying to protect himself. He popped out from uh, down the street and waved us over. We went to go check out the bike. 
What a nice spot. So I go to check out the bike, right? And uh, it's pretty sweet. You know, I'm loving it. Now, it really wasn't ridden much, which was a problem for me when I ended up getting it. Uh, because a lot of things that needed to be changed weren't changed, so I wasn't having a lot of luck with the bike. But I still love that bike to death. So the bike was super clean, though. And, you know, I'm checking out. I'm loving it. And uh, this time I get my buddy's approval. He's like, yeah, you know what, man? He's like, if you like it, go for it. So that's what we ended up doing. We ended up getting the bike. I bought it. Guy was super chill. He even had a, the MSO for it so I could have proof that it's mine. And, uh... Yeah, we loaded it up in my buddy's truck. And like I said, that was one of the happiest days of my life. You know, I remember that day so vividly. I remember having so much fun with that bike. You know, loaded it up and I was smiling the whole way back home. <laughs> yeah, I just, I love that bike, yo. Uh, and then it was funny because, you know, the first time I hop on this thing, now I've never ridden a bike before, never started a bike. Uh, so I'm trying to kick this thing over and for me that was a lot for a 125. I know it's it's really easy Especially on a two-stroke, but for me, I was just struggling So my buddy started it up and then I went right into a, a wall Not fast at about like two miles an hour probably uh, Yeah, I really didn't know what I was doing yet. So went into a wall at about two miles an hour got right back up picked the bike up and uh, That was it from there. I, I got it down pretty quickly after that, I drove up my driveway, and then I was, you know, shifting up and down. Uh, and I had a pretty, pretty down pat right away. So, from there, learning was kind of hard, because the kids I rode with, they didn't really have any pity. They're like, look, if you can ride these trails, you can ride anything. So, they kind of just threw me right into the fire, but I did figure it out. And, uh, now here I am. I think I've owned, like, eight bikes since then. So yeah, that was one of the happiest days of my life, guys. One of the better memories that I had, and I figured I would just take the time to share it with you. Uh, and just, you know, try and give you guys, I guess, a feeling of hopefully what you'll feel when you get your first dirt bike. So if you haven't gotten your first dirt bike yet, guys, comment down below the first dirt bike you want to get. Uh, or if you have already got one, comment what your first dirt bike or motorcycle was. So, thanks for watching, guys. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. And you guys have a great day as always. Peace.